myotonic dystrophy is a disease that manifests itself in various ways. It's a genetic monogenic autosomal dominant disorder, and it's caused by a change, a mutation in a gene called DMPK. DMPK has a triple nucleotide repeat in it in the mutated form. And that mutated DMPK ultimately re results in a toxic messenger RNA. So unlike other triple nucleotide repeat diseases that you may be familiar with, like Huntington's, you don't get the, the translation into a toxic protein. It's actually the messenger RNA that's a toxic messenger RNA. So the therapeutic hypothesis here is that if you can knock down or inhibit the formation of that toxic messenger RNA, you're going to change the course of the disease. What? How does the disease manifest itself? The disease manifests itself in multiple ways. Patients with myotonic dystrophy have a, have a broad number of complaints. The most notable one is a condition called myotonia. And in myotonia, a patient can grasp something and then they can't relax their grip. And this is ultimately the result of misspliced proteins. So some of the some of the ionic channels that are associated with contraction and then release have been inappropriately processed in these in these patients. And that's due to the fact that these patients have this have this triple nucleotide repeat. So patients with a disease present with myotonia, they present with muscle weakness, they present with with gastrointestinal problems, there are problems with executive function. Um, one of the real, and then there are problems with, with cardiac conduction defects. So patients can, patients with myotonic dystrophy can first present in a gastroenterologist's office. They can present in a cardiologist's office. They can present in a neurologist's office, or they could, they could live for years without being diagnosed until unfortunately their, their offspring have the disease worse than they. And so in a, in a condition known, uh, known as anticipation, there are the number of those repeats in that particular messenger RNA will expand with, as, with cell division and repeating generations or su subsequent generations. So very often, and you can see this on our website, patients are only diagnosed after their, their son or daughter or sometimes even their, their grandchild appears with a disease much more severe than they had. So it is a it is a really devastating disease. The life expectancy is shortened, much of which because of respiratory function or, car, or cardiac um, arrhythmias. So in general, it is a it is a devastating lethal disease.